Here's something you might come across while inspecting a wood shingled roof. And that, of course, would be over time, the ridge and the hip shingles. These are the shingles that are supposed to cover the gaps uh, where the other shingles um, would intersect um, from each side. And without these shingles, you're going to have water leaking um, on the inside of the uh, building. And you can actually see where this is over a soffit area. And it looks like it's kind of a mansart roof where you might not see the results of the water damage on the interior of the building. You might uh, see it on the outside, but it doesn't look like we're seeing uh, any problems, and that could be because the uh, ceiling on the outside is painted regularly. Who knows? Um, and who knows? Maybe this uh, isn't as bad as it looks, but I hate to say it. It looks like it's pretty bad here. Um, <clears throat> something like this could be a big problem and would need to be fixed as soon as possible. Um, I would actually recommend in a situation like this, uh, if you have it, the rest of the shingles I can see are starting to cup and warp. It is time for a new roof in this uh, situation. You know, you could go and replace all the individual cedar shingles that are damaged and the um, hip shingles there. Uh, but realistically, it's probably going to be better just to uh, replace this particular roof. The problem here is that uh, whenever it rains or snows, you are going to have moisture getting in between the gaps and the cracks in uh, where these have separated. Usually they are stapled together, by the way. You have two shingles, one on each side, one on right and one on left, and they're basically stapled together. Over time, the wood will start to expand and contract in different directions. And you can see here, even the shingles that are on the roof, not the ridge uh, or the hip shingles, you can actually see where they're bowing and they're cupping. Well, here you have uh, enough of them that are bowing and cupping and twisting, and they've actually just pulled the staples out of the other shingle. And this isn't uncommon. So, you know, now you're probably thinking, well, hey, can't I just take all these shingles off and uh, staple them back together? You might be able to, but uh, like I said, you're going, going to, it's kind of the inevitable thing. If you were to replace this roof with composition shingles, you're probably not going to ever have this problem again. But if you replace certain shingles or the entire roof with cedar shingles, then uh, there's a good chance that you would end up with something like this again in the future. If it happens once, there's a good chance it'll happen again.